Hi yogis, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get started in a gentle seated meditation. Take any comfortable seat and begin to travel inwards, focusing on your breath and your posture. Deep breaths through the nose. Every inhale, you feel yourself lengthening through the spine from your tailbone all the way to the top of your head. And every exhale, grounding through your sit bones and filling up into the lower back. We'll be here for one more minute together in our silent meditation. Slowly coming into our physical body again, let's start with some gentle neck circles to release any tension from the neck and top of the shoulder region. And rotate in the opposite direction. Take a deep inhale and round your arms up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers and take a nice lengthening stretch. Exhale, side bend towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Inhale, come back up and as you exhale, gently entering a seated twist, looking over your right shoulder, left hand to your right knee. Deep breath. Come back to center, inhale up. Exhale, twist towards the left, looking over your left shoulder, right hand to your left knee or leg. One deep breath. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, gently lower down the hands. From here, we'll transition to a gentle toe stretch. So find a seat on your heels. Toes are tucked underneath. Hands can be placed on your lap or to heart center, and we'll be here for one deep breath. Gently lean forward, untuck the toes, and sit back on your heels for an ankle stretch posture. Take one full breath. Begin to lean forward and find a tabletop position, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hips, and we'll go straight into some cat-cow movements to warm up our spinal column, shoulders, and hips. Inhale as you look up and back bend gently. Exhale as you round the spine up towards the sky, maybe connecting chin to chest. Go for a couple more rounds and feel free to add any creative movements, maybe circling in the spine in both directions or any other movement that feels right to you in this morning. Tuck the toes, lift the hips for our first downward dog, and then drop the knees back down for a gentle leg strengthening warm up. Going down and up. If you can't straighten the legs, that's okay as well. Keep the knees gently bent in your down dog, making sure you have nice length in the spine is more important than getting those straight legs. Let's all take one more together, lowering and lifting. Ground through the heels to find a static downward facing dog, feeling stable and balanced. Gently rocking the hips right and left for a little oblique core activation. And then walk forward to a regular plank and again rock the hips. And let's walk the hands back to our downward dog. Take a breath and let's gently drop the knees to the ground preparing us for thread the needle with the arms. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, curl it under your right body and ground into the left shoulder. Feel free to keep the right arm on the ground for more stability or bring the arm behind your back, maybe grabbing inner left thigh. We'll be here for a couple deep breaths.
Gently coming out of the posture, let's meet each other in a tabletop and go into the other side. Inhale, right hand comes up. Exhale, curling it under your left body and grounding into that right shoulder. Feel free to keep the left hand on the floor still or bring it behind your back. And again, returning to your deep breaths. Notice how every breath you take, your body begins to weight and sink a little bit more deeply into that right shoulder. Meeting each other back in our tabletop position. Inhale as you look up towards the sky and open your heart. Exhale, ground with your seat on your heels for a child's pose. Full breaths, and if you choose to, feel free to rock the hips gently to release any built up or stale prana and energy from the hip region. Start to come out of your child's pose and let's meet each other in a down dog. Inhale the right leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee and begin to go into some hip circles, warming up the hip joint. And change direction. Inhale, reach the leg back up towards the sky and exhale as you ground it between your hands. Drop the left knee and let's go into some hip circles within our low lunge. And change direction. Lean forward, ground into the front leg. Inhale, look up. And then lift the hips up and straighten the back leg to find yourself in a pyramid pose. Here we want both of the legs to be straight and the hips to be level. Feel free to bend the front leg as much as you need with the intention of straightening it in the future. However, feel free to keep the front leg a little bent if you need to, depending on your flexibility level. Inhale, halfway lift, opening the heart, and exhale, bring the back leg forward to meet the front and take a forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, lengthening up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Take one deep breath here, connecting to your base, feeling the ground beneath you, underneath your feet and your toes. Inhale as you bend left knee to chest. Exhale as you bring the foot into tree pose. Feel free to come to your inner thigh, your calf muscle, or to your ankle. On the next inhale, you round the arms up towards the sky, and feel free to take any variation you want in your tree, if that's connecting palms, or maybe swaying like a tree in the wind. Whatever feels right to you in your beautiful tree pose. Inhale, round your hands up back up towards the sky, and exhale, hands come back to heart center. Continue all the way down to the ground to a forward fold tree variation, and move back to a downward facing dog. Beautiful work, feel free to take any movements here to reset and reboot before we continue on to the other side. Ground through the heels, inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Bend the knee and begin to go into some hip circles, warming up the hip joint. And change direction. Inhale, reach the leg back up towards the sky and exhale as you ground it between your hands. This time we'll drop the right knee and go into some hip circles. And change direction. Lean forward, ground into the front leg, inhale, look up, and then lift the hips up and straighten the back leg to find yourself in a pyramid pose. Here we want both of the legs to be straight and the hips to be level. Feel free to bend the front leg as much as you need with the intention of straightening it in the future. However, feel free to keep the front leg a little bent if you need to depending on your flexibility level. Breathe deeply through the nose. Inhale, halfway lift, opening the heart. And exhale, bring the back leg forward to meet the front and take a forward fold. 
Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, lengthening up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Take one deep breath here, connecting to your base, and then ground into the left foot and inhale as you lift the right knee to chest. Exhale as you bring the foot into tree pose, with your foot either connected to your thigh, calf, or ankle. On the next inhale, you round the arms up towards the sky, and feel free to take any variation you want in your tree, if that's connecting palms, or maybe swaying like a tree in the wind, whatever feels right to you in your beautiful tree pose. Inhale, round your hands up, back up towards the sky, and exhale, hands come back to heart center. Continue all the way down to the ground to a forward fold tree variation, and move back to a downward facing dog. Walk out the feet a bit, and let's drop the knees and come down to a full seat. Straighten the legs in front of you and flex the feet. Hands are placed by your hips and will enter Dandasana staff pose. The whole body should be active here from your toes all the way to your upper back, finding length in the spine and straight legs as much as possible. You can bend them if you need. Breathing deeply, the head and the neck should be relaxed. Inhale as your hands round up towards the sky. Exhale, lean forward for a forward fold. It's all right wherever your hands get to. It's all right if your knees are bent a little bit. What's important to me is that you're focusing on your breath, lengthening through the spine on your inhales, and exhaling, curling through the hips to connect your belly to thighs a little bit more deeply. Inhale, reach up and lengthen through the spine. Exhale, lower down the hands. Bring your left foot to your inner right thigh, just like in tree pose. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Use your breath as a tool to move more deeply into your postures. One more deep breath. Inhale, come back up, lengthen through the spine. Turn your chest towards your left knee and open up into a side bend. Connecting right hand to right foot or leg and reaching the left arm towards the sky. Begin to circle that upper arm, releasing any stale energy and prana from the shoulder joint. And change direction. Exhale, go deeply into that side bend, twist forward and inhale up to the sky. Exhale, lower down the hands and let's change sides. Connect your right foot to your left inner thigh. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, forward fold. Remember to always come back to your breath to help you move more deeply into the pose and to quiet the mind. One more deep breath. Inhale, come back up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, turn your chest towards your right knee and lower into a side bend. Connecting the left arm to your left foot or leg, and right arm is either on the foot as well or towards the sky. Begin to circle that upper arm, releasing any stale energy and prana from the shoulder joint. And change direction. Exhale, go deeply into that side bend one more time. Twist forward and inhale up to the sky. Exhale, lower down the hands and straighten the right leg. Flex the toes, ground in your palms, fingertips forward and bend the knees. Inhale, lift up into reverse tabletop. Exhale, lower down. Feel free to reach the ground or to gently hover above it. Also feel free to drop the head back or not. Let's take one more together. And let's gently transition onto our backs. Bring the knees towards your chest and let's go for a couple joint knee circles for a little lower back massage. And change direction. And 
And now going for individual knee circles, opening and closing to release any tension from the hip joints. And change direction. Give the knees a gentle hug towards the chest and lower down the feet to the floor. Keep the knees bent to prepare for bridge pose. Legs should be inner hip distance apart and hands by your hips. Press into your feet and lift the hips up. Feel free to interlace the fingers underneath the body and scoop the shoulders underneath if you want to move a little bit more deeply into the pose. Or keep the hands on the floor and lifting as high as you wish. We'll be here for a couple more breaths. Gently lower down the hips, bring the knees back to your chest, and let them fall towards the right side for a gentle recline twist before we finish up our practice. Looking towards the left, let the shoulders sink into the ground beneath you. One more deep breath, and change sides. Taking full deep breaths, allowing the compression and tension to lessen off of our spinal column. Bring the knees back to center and give your legs a big hug for wind release pose, grabbing opposite elbows around your legs and head coming up to your knees. Squeeze a little bit more deeply and release for Shavasana. Straighten the legs as wide as your mat, hands by your hips, palms facing up, or take any other variation or use any of your props in your home that you choose to, like placing a pillow under your knees. Just as we started our practice with mindfulness, we will end it with some mindfulness as well, noticing how your body feels against the ground beneath you, noticing how your breath is full and relaxed as the belly rises and falls with every breath you take. We'll be here for one more minute in silence together. Feel free to pause the video and take a longer shavasana if you wish to and can. Highly recommend it. If not, we'll meet back up together in one more minute to finish off the practice. Take one more full deep breath here on your back and slowly transition to a comfortable seat. Notice the circulation falling from your head to your legs again. Connect to your breath and your posture here in your seat. Let's take one more full deep breath together. Then bring your hands to heart center Thank you, namaste. I hope you enjoy the practice and have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.